Good morning everyone and welcome to morning prayer for the parishes of St Anne's, St Mary's and St Winifred's. Thank you for joining me this morning. We've got tree surgeons visiting next door so we've got a chipper out the front of our house today so I've come to the back of the house for our morning prayer today. We begin with the words from the Church of England's daily prayer service, including a time of silence for us to bring ourselves before God today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We continue this morning with our reflections from our holy habits called Breaking Bread as we thank God for providing for all our needs, both our physical and spiritual needs. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, and verses 14 to 17 and 19 to 21. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread except for one loaf that they had with them in the boat. Be careful, Jesus warned them. Watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and that of Herod. They discussed with one another and said, It is because we have no bread. Jesus asked them, Why are you talking about having no bread? When I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? Twelve, they replied. And when I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? They answered, seven. He said to them, do you still not understand? Amen. God's word to us today. And I think we can be forgiven today for not understanding this passage on first on first reading. Did you know that there wasn't only a feeding of the 5,000, but also a feeding of the 4,000? Jesus refers to both of them here with the disciples when they were worried that they had not brought enough bread for their journey. And that's a good point that we can understand from Jesus, isn't it? Jesus is saying, look, you've seen me provide for many thousands of people and we still had food left over to spare. So don't worry about only having one loaf and forgetting to bring enough bread with us. Don't worry about it. Jesus says in other parts of the Bible, doesn't he, to not for us not to worry about our daily physical needs, but that God provides for us, just just as he provides for the birds of the air. And he says that we are much more precious to him than birds. So let's, if we can, not worry about our daily needs, 
but thank God so much for what we have and pray to God that he will provide for us if we are in need. But what's this thing that Jesus says about yeast? If bread is symbolic of all of the physical needs we need, then maybe yeast is something a little bit more spiritual. Yeast is unseen, but it's really important to making bread. Once you've got a bit of yeast, it spreads through the whole loaf. If you've got good yeast, then you'll have good bread. Jesus tells the disciples to be careful of the yeast of the Pharisees and of Herod. Maybe that's referring to the religious authorities and the political authorities in his day. Perhaps Jesus is referring to them as bad yeast that would make bad bread. Says as another part of the Bible, doesn't it? Jesus says, if you seek first God's kingdom and God's righteousness, then all the other things, things like food and clothes, will fall into place and will have these as well. So maybe seeking first the kingdom of God is like making sure that we have good yeast in our bread. We normally just buy our bread, don't you? But I guess some of us have our bread makers and so can relate to this, can relate to this image of the loaf rising with some good yeast. So let's bring ourselves before God this morning and get our good yeast, get our spiritual food from God so we can be assured that the loaf of our, our lives will be a good loaf. Let's pray. We thank you, Lord God, for what you've been teaching us in our Breaking Bread series, that you provide for our physical and our spiritual needs. Lord God, as we come before you at the beginning of this day, we ask you to be with us today. We put our hearts right with you, O oh God. We declare that you are our Lord and our God, that you are in charge of our lives. Lord God, we pray that the yeast of your goodness and peace will flow through our whole lives and enliven us. Lord God, help us to seek first your kingdom and to be assured that when we do so, you will give us everything we need. Help us to have this trust in you today, Lord. And we lift before you those who are in need. And we pray that you would provide for them. Lord God, if there's any way in which we can be generous today, please help us to take those opportunities to be generous to those around us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
Thanks everyone so much for joining us this morning. Hope you have a good day. If you'd like to join us tomorrow for morning prayer, we'll be online at 9 o'clock and the church will be open from 8.45 until 10 o'clock. So if you'd like to come in and pray with us in church, then you'd be very welcome. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.